everyone, it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. How's everybody doing? Well, today I went to the dentist and I have more issues. Nothing that can't be fixed, but yeah, I have a couple cavities. <laughs> and you're looking at somebody that brushes their teeth twice a day. I floss every day. I I water pick every day, but it's, the doctor said it might be my medicines, <laughs> so I don't know, but anyways, they're tiny, they're tiny, but still, and um, my bite is off, it's like, I have a retainer behind my front top teeth, I've had it there for 30 years, I had braces twice, and if I don't have a retainer. My teeth will move. And I think that's for a lot of people. A lot of people, you know, don't care. But I spent a lot of money, and my parents didn't buy my braces. I spent a lot of money trying to take care of my teeth. And by, by George, I, I paid to have my teeth straight. They're going to stay straight. But anyways, since I've had this implant, it's shoving my teeth out and my teeth are hitting the back of this bracket under here. So I have to go see an ortho, uh, and, uh, what are they called? They put braces on. Anyways, I gotta go see him to have him either reset this. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. So I'll just pay for somebody else's vacation, right? <laughs> but that was my report today at the dentist. So. Yeah, I have three, uh, he does, oh no, I have two more dentist appointments to get fillings. He does, I think he's going to do them in two separate fillings, I mean, appointments. And then he wants me to go see that oral surgeon that did the implant. So I dread seeing him because... He was, he was the one that broke the bank. I mean, he's good at what he does. But anyways, so it's fun following up with all the doctors and the dentists. It's, I guess it's my new life. So I'm here, so I need to be very grateful, right? I'm here. I have, hopefully my family is all healthy as far as I know. So, but, um, Tonight, I promised you guys some more yarn. Okay, I don't know exactly what all I got. I got a feeling I bought some of the same stuff. I just got it on sale. I ordered some Premier. And, yeah, I ordered some Premier Parfait. Because I gave some of it away. <laughs> so, <laughs> I gotta get some more. But I think I got a color, this green. I don't think I had this green before. But, it's Parfait parfait chunky neons it's 131 yards it's 100% polyester you know it's total 100% squish factor for Amy's and I'm practicing with Amy's I'm slow at it but I'm practicing but it's very squishy very pretty I love these bright colors they're my happy colors so and the color of this one is called electric line and then the highlighter, you guys have seen that. It's the same brand, same specs. What hook size is it? It's a it's a bulky number six. You can machine wash and it looks like that don't look like dry. Lay flat to dry. Yeah, lay flat to dry. So an eight millimeter hook, but I'm gonna go down when I make my plushies I'm gonna go down a couple sizes probably to a six I'm learning that yeah I they get holy and I don't want them to be holy so anyways there's highlighter and then getting to my favorite colors this one is proton purple
I don't want to take it out of the package. Well, I'll take it out of the package. So you guys can see what color it is. Very pretty. It's not purple, it's pink. <laughs> Even though it says proton purple. That's okay. So you guys know I got everything. Oh, I usually buy in threes or sixes. So I got three because I I have quite a bit of this yarn. I don't know I don't know if I have it in here. I have some of it over there on the bed. I got a do some reorganizing. I have been. I'm trying to. I'm making my pretty yarn wall. And I know where what everything is. So that's what's important. So. Alright. The Napes color I got. Orange. What are they calling it? Blaze orange. But look how pretty that is. Everything is the same. It's neon chunky. I love these. These colors. And then the last color I got was neon flamingo. I love this color. Look at all those yummy colors. I love them. I didn't get blue, but I have blue down there, but they don't have neon blue, I don't think. I don't know. All right, something else I had to order because I didn't order enough of it is the Painterly Anti-Pilling Everyday Work that I want to do. Oh, I can't think of the top. Jennifer of Cinnamon Stitches for Premier Week did a top with this Painterly yarn. She did a different color, but I'm using... I'm going to be using the color Party Time. And I did start the top. I've done two rows. <laughs> Been a little preoccupied. But I got six of these. And they're a number four medium, 153 yards. 100% anti-pilling. And 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And the top that she made is very beautiful. But I think it's going to be a slow process. <laughs> I don't know. All right, this next color is not as bright as I thought it was. It's yarn I normally don't buy. And it kind of looks like the yarn that Jennifer has been spinning. Now, I bought this. I purchased this way before I left. So, but it's funny how some of us are on the same wavelength. But look at this. It's very pretty. Some of it's not spun very well. But look at the inside. The inside is so pretty. It's satiny looking. It's very pretty. But I thought I was... I have a, an idea for some sweaters. A cardigan. This is Bamboo Bloom. I bought some black. And I went ahead and bought the other color. It's Stephen B. B. Inspired. Hand Paints. Um, doesn't have a color. It's 100 grams, 154 yards. It's a bulky rayon from bamboo, 40, uh, 48 rayon from bamboo, 44 wool, and 8% acrylic. It's really soft. Really soft. I'm curious to how it works up. I don't want to just pack this away with my other pretty yarns. I want to I want to use it. But I bought there's only what 154 so I bought 2 4 5. Why I only bought 5? I don't know. I guess 5 in a pack. I don't know. It came in a sealed pack of 5. I bet you it was 5 for a certain amount of money. But yeah. Let me open one of them. But this is the color that stole my heart <laughs> right there. They make sure those those bright colors show in those advertisements. Let me put this. 
I don't know why, but the lighting doesn't seem very bright. And I probably should get one of my ring lights, but... If this doesn't show up, I will. I don't think a ring light is gonna matter much. Maybe. Let me go get it, I guess. <laughs> Hold on. Is that better? <laughs> better lighting? I have a desk, I have two desk lights. But, all right. That's so much better, y'all. Look at that. Pretty. We got green, purple, white fuchsia, magenta. I love all these colors. But then it's got some fat parts. But that's okay. I'm venturing out. But I do want to make something with this. So, but yeah. So, I've got five of these. They're gorgeous. They're soft. Very soft. And it's universal yarn. But I didn't mention that. But it's also a designer's names on it, Stephen B. I'm not sure who that is. You guys may know. It may be somebody famous, but I just just have no clue. All right, I have an order from We Crochet. Now, I'm really surprised at what I got. I did not expect this. Okay, do you guys know I'm doing that beautiful lavender? Buffalo, lavender and white and gray buffalo um, blanket. It's going to be a gift. Well, anyways, I was worried I was going to run out of the Brava yarn that I had chosen. It's so chunky. Oh my gosh. They sent me the wrong yarn. Anyways, I got worsted, so I can't use this. But I will use it for something because it's beautiful yarn. I ordered Brava 500 never heard of it. There's a thousand ninety yards. And it was pretty reasonable. There's not a receipt in here. Dang it. But I know that these were under eight bucks. If I um I didn't get a receipt, so I don't know. Sometimes I don't log in as my account. I just go ahead and order. And, um, but yeah, but this was on sale. So that's why I got it. They had a sale on a few things and I could not refuse the sale. I can't remember the price, but it was a big enough sale. It impressed me thinking I was going to get three little skeins of bulky. And I bought two, three giant skeins of Brava 500 worsted. Dang it. So... I still have two more of the gray Brava bulky, I think, two or three, so I'm, I think I'm okay, but I'm going to have to order again. <laughs> I got three of these, but I'll use them because I, I love gray. I love their, I have used this, um, I think it's a dove gray or a heather gray, what is it called? Let me see. Um, okay, it's 100% 100, 100 premium acrylic, tumble dry machine wash, knit picks, we crochet, it is 1,090 yards. Where's your color? It's like Heather something. Here it is. It's hiding behind the writing. The color is, yeah, Dove Heather. I love this color. I guess I'm gonna take, I'll take one out of the bag and I'll bag it up, bag it back up. But this is very nice. It's very pretty. It's a pretty gray. It's very squishy. And I know I got a really good deal on it. 
I just wish I could remember what it was. It was like $6.99 or something like that. It, it was affordable. So that's why I bought it, not paying attention. But something I will tell you that I paid attention to was this next sale. And the person that told me about this sale was Nina over at Nina's Knots Crochet. She mentioned it in one of her videos. I was like, yeah, baby, I'm going over there. Well, you guys know I love the Dots crochet hooks. And I'll share with you one box here. I know you've seen them. But they remind me a lot of a clover. Um, I, I really, me personally, I can't tell the difference between these and a clover if I didn't know any better you know other than what I like about these better than the clover is they have a longer handle which helps me out and um, I just think they're nice there's a little bit of difference here in the shaft here but this I mean it's great but let me let me share with you what else I got what you want will we you can't get up there. There's too much stuff up. He wants on that bed so bad every time I come in here. So he's getting underneath the table here. What do you want me to move my yarn for you? Your Highness? Okay, there you go. There's a spot for you right here. Lay down, right here, down. You can't get any further. This is the only spot. Okay, lay down. Okay, he has to lay right here. He missed his mama. Do you miss me? I missed you too, baby. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Here he is, my woozer. Yes, he's a good boy. I miss you too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's my liquor. Mm -hmm. You my liquor. Yes, you are. Bless you. Bless you. You miss mama. I missed you too. And those breath things, they work because his breath doesn't smell so bad. All right. Anyways, We Crochet had these on sale for 15 bucks. I could not resist. A whole set of hooks for 15 bucks that are almost clovers. Clover needs to make longer hooks. I still love my clovers. Don't get me wrong. But anyways, I bought a little um, stand and the stand normally was ten dollars and I got it for five bucks. Couldn't beat it. Um I think there's a three point five and a two point five and a two point oh. Twenty bucks for all of this. Could not beat that sale. Thank you, Nina, for letting me know. I actually, I think Nina's, the set that Nina has, I think I, I, think I sent her some. Because I got some on sale once before. But yeah, I buy these. I, I can't have enough hooks. Some of you guys can relate to that. But I also give, give gifts, you know, so. But that is so pretty. I love it. I can just sit here and this is so pretty. Okay. Really can't see them, can you? I wanted you to see the bright colors. Eh. The orange is so bright you can barely see them, but they're so pretty. They're gonna fall. Get back there. But I, I didn't just get one. I got four. I got four of everything. So, yeah, I always stock up for Christmas, you know, whatever, gift giving, giveaways, all that good stuff. So, but yeah, okay. Is that all the yarn I have? That is all the yarn I have. <laughs> Imagine that. I have yarn coming. I'm surprised it hasn't come. 
but I have a lot to bag up, so let's get cracking, right? Because I, I, I can hear it moving out. It's going to fall off the shelf. But, I mean, I already have purchased two before this sale. <laughs> and I was annoyed because it went up to $29.99. From $24.99 to $29.99. And then went on sale for $15. And I, I'm concerned that... With everything that's going on, that all of our yarn community, our yarn suppliers are struggling, especially here in the United States. I'm not sure where we crochet is, but and so it's like Joann's filed bankruptcy, but they were having all these killer sales. Um, sometimes they have sales on brand new products. I mean, I enjoy the sales. Don't get me wrong. But I just, I guess they were trying to get rid of some of their stock, maybe. That's why they dropped their prices. But they had some killer sales. Um, I don't know their strategy. But that, what Joanne's going through, kind of makes me understand why Walmart is downsized their yarn department. Because I'm sure they have all these analyzers that saw this coming, this struggle coming, you know. Um, because a lot of people aren't, they can't pay those kind of prices. I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. I mean, I've been trying to, we, the door shop, we would ultimately like to double our production, but we can't find the help and nobody will work for less than 25 bucks an hour. Yeah. People that rather sit home, they get paid to sit home, I guess. I don't know. It, um, here I go. I'm going down that rabbit hole. I'm sorry, guys. But anyways, I'm trying, you know, I'm, I'm overthinking. I'm trying to think of what's going on in the yarn community. Why Michael's only, only has two short little aisles of yarn. And Walmart has, in some areas, a half aisle, maybe less. And then some have bigger. And I think it's based off their, their stats on their stores of what they sell. You know, I guess Gainesville didn't sell a lot. I don't know. But I think that's why Michael's downsized a little bit. I think everybody's struggling, really. Um, some place, you know, like retail stores. I mean, the construction business, right now it's okay, but it, it has its downsides, you know. And you have to downsize in people, downsize in your stock. Yeah, your overhead, so... But I hope Joanne's pulls out of it. I really, <laughs> I'll be traveling to South Carolina, wherever that big yarn store is. <laughs> Me and Lynette went to, that was a big one. It was a nice one when we went to South Carolina last year. And I, I would even take a road trip just to go. I wish Lynette was with me. Yeah, my partner in crime. So, and her husband sounds like he's, well, sounds like he's doing better. He had knee surgery and it's no secret. She's sharing it. So y'all say a prayer for Roy. He's a good man. My husband really enjoys his company. The guys get along well. So the two girls can go play with yarn. <laughs> yeah. That's a recipe for disaster. And Lynette's like, I'm going to be retiring and traveling in a year. I can't buy any more yarn. But, you know, she doesn't leave without yarn. And you know you're not going to leave my house without yarn. <laughs> oh, I told her, I said, I'm just making more room for more yarn. And the other night, I, I must confess. The other night, I went on a live auction. It was what the hails. They're friends of Billy's, the Crafty Flirting. But this couple, they got a lot of drama going on in their channel. But they also, um, they do a lot for the community. A lot for children. They did a, um, a Christmas thing over in this small town called Steenhatchie. It's like a spit in the bucket. <laughs> but it's near water, you know. And... The town is run over by 
family. It's like everybody's related to everybody. They don't like strangers and it's just, they've made it very difficult for this couple to live in Steenhatchie. And they have, they do the, um, they buy storage, storage units that are abandoned and they've done very well. And they wanted to, um, they wanted to make they wanted to land somewhere in the middle of the state of Florida so they could go here, there. So, because North Central Florida is like, I'm in the middle of the state. So, an hour to the coast on the East Coast or East Coast and an hour West Coast. It's, and when hurricanes come, I'm pretty safe because I'm in the middle of the state, high and dry for the most part. But anyways, getting back to my story they do these auctions. Well, I didn't realize this was an auction. I put my name in on a, it was like a, a YouTube thing. And I put my name in thinking that I was winning something. And I thought the number 175 was the number of the lot. And I thought I was putting my, my, you know, whatever information they asked, they said to put like 175 and I don't know a word. I can't even remember the word. But um, I didn't realize I was buying them. <laughs> it was just a gift. I didn't realize what I was buying either. Anyways, I ended up, and I didn't even tell my husband. And um, But anyways, I won. My name got picked, okay? I bought $175 worth of knives. <laughs> And I got a text from Miss Billy. She goes, what are you going to do with all those knives? I said, give them away. I have boys. But I didn't realize until after I did it. And I'm like, I'm not going to call them. I'm not going to let them know that, oops, I'm backing out. I would never do that because they lost the sale if I did that. So I went ahead and I paid for them. And so I've got a bunch of knives coming. And they're not like new knives. They're not like cutlery knives. They're like. I think there's even a peace pipe with a tomahawk. <laughs> I didn't know I was getting all that until after I bid and my name was picked. I didn't realize it. But what I would have liked to have got, they had a whole flat of Disney pins somebody got for 175 bucks before me. And I think my name was after her, but I didn't realize we were paying for them. I thought they were, they give things away all the time. They have dollar auctions. Um, I've heard, but I didn't realize what I was doing, but that's okay. It, it doesn't matter. You know, I'll, I'll find a home for all those knives. I have lots of men in my life. My husband's not a knife person, but I know Joey, my son would probably enjoy them. And I know some of my employees would love them. Some of the guys in the shop I know would love them. Definitely. And Tyler might surprise me. He might like them. I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's what I did. I can't believe I did. I haven't told my husband yet. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna. Because when I told him that I won it, I believed I won it. You know? And then when they started talking about... They sent me an invoice. Is what happened. They sent me an invoice and to pay... You know, either PayPal or this. I'm like, oh, okay. I screwed up. That's okay. I don't mind paying that for something that I like. I wish they had yarn. I ought, to, I ought to text them and say, if you ever get yarn, let me know. You know? But those Disney, I thought of Jennifer. When I saw those Disney pens, somebody passed away and they had, I know there's more Disney pens because I watched their, I watched their videos where, where they look up their lockers. You know, when, when they, they video everything in their lockers. They find money. They find all kinds of stuff abandoned. A lot of times it's family members like that have passed away. What I think happens is kids take care of their parents or family takes care of family. And what they do is if they end up going into a home, they take all their stuff, pack it up, what they think is very valuable, and they put it in storage until they figure out what to do with it. And a lot of times they pay on it for a long time and then they just say, you know what? let it go. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And that happens all the time. My housekeeper, her mother, um, she said her mother was a hoarder and, um, used to go to flea markets or yard sales and just buy all kinds of stuff. She said a lot of it's junk, 
but it's very valuable to her mom, but her mom has fallen sick. And so they, they went in there, her mom, she moved her mom in with her and her sister was going to move into the mom's house. Well, the house, I guess nobody had been in it in a while, was from ceiling to floor of just stuff. So they filled a couple dumpsters and the mother freaked out. She's freaking out. But anyways, and then some of it they put in storage and it's been in storage for a year. But anyway, she had said to me, last time I saw her before I went on vacation she said mama's got a storage we're letting it go I said there's nothing in there you can sell she said not really and we really don't have the time we're just going to let it go <sighs> is that not crazy yeah I can never I don't know I don't know my mom has a lot of stuff but it's very a lot of her stuff is greyhounds porcelain that she's gotten over from you know she bought in Europe and she's paid a lot of money for that stuff and even my dad's stuff in the shop see I'm a hoarder yeah kind of I, I I have a hard time letting go of stuff like that but the only thing I'm hoarding right now is yarn and I'm actually not hoarding it I'm collecting it I am letting some of it go and um it's it wasn't easy in the beginning but it's gotten a little bit easier but you know what I get rid of I replace everybody seeping Hey, Nevi. Hey, baby. You want to see him? Oh, you can't. Zeus is right down here. I can't share that. I can't. I can't move the thing. Archer's under the table. This is all Maverick. And Zeus is right here. Hey, Zeusy. Hey, baby. I'm going to call you White Toe. His white socks. He's, his toes are almost completely white. Gray. Yeah. He's beautiful. So, but I guess we can bag up some yarn. Alright. Well, let me go get the bags and I'm going to go get some tape. I need to buy two more of those tape dispensers. They are handy dandy. And I need to put one in here. I've got one on my coffee table. And then one on that back table where I sit and wind up yarn. I need to get one for there. So I need to buy two of them. That's what I'll probably do tonight. I'll look for some tape dispensers. And nobody go out and buy me any. I'm going to go buy them. So... But yeah, let me go get tape and the bags. I'll be back. Hey, you guys. Oh, it's like, where do I start? <laughs> so I figured I would start with some of the new yarn. I bought this color probably in Gatlinburg. Amethyst. I showed this to you in soft white. But yeah. I got a bunch of patterns. I, I love this yarn. I know a lot of people do not like it, but I'm going to go ahead and bag it up. You know, I did get new bags. I got 17 by 10 and I got I think some by 13. Yeah, 17, 13 by 17. So I like these too. But I'm not sure yet what I'm going to be using these for. But they're too wide for just two skeins of the Red Heart Jumbo. Oh, Yarn Inspirations is actually still having a 30% off all their yarn. I know their yarn is kind of, they charge the high end, but. I bought some 30% off. I don't think I've got it yet. I was playing. Today, I, uh, after my appointments, I got home. 
I ate. I started crocheting. I took a small nap. Um, it was an hour and a half. Tyler woke me up. Tyler came by to see his mama. And he said, I've been leaving Millie at the house. I said, you need to bring her to the house. I don't think a dog should spend all her time alone. I don't think that's good. I think that's why Maverick didn't want to go home with him anymore because he stayed here, and, you know, and hung out with the pack and he liked it here. I mean, Millie still goes home with him, but I don't know. So there's one package drop. Then I bought this color. You guys saw this from Walmart in Tennessee. My store does not have this color. And it's a very pretty variegated yarn. Let's see. I think this bag will be perfect for that, for four of them side by side. Yeah, what we're gonna do is I'm bagging up my yarn from Tennessee. So you guys get to see it twice. It's not a duplicated video, I promise. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. It's not too snug and not too loose. Oh, I know my housekeeper loves picking these things up. I usually pick them up, but still I find them. They're easy to pick up because you just run your hand across them and they stick to your hand. It's the static electricity in them. Now these bags here are from Timu. And they're a lot cheaper than Amazon but sometimes the adhesive is not the greatest, so good old tape comes in handy dandy. Hey Arch, uh, did I fill in your, your spot? All right, you can get under there. Go ahead, get under there. Go ahead, go your highness. You smell any smells? Yes, that's all new yarn. It's all new yarn, yes. So, go ahead, get in there. And then, I got these from the spinnery. I got two of each color. And you know, I have some yarn like this from Hobby Lobby. Back when Hobby Lobby sold Hank's uh, bulky yarn, I got the, um, the fluorescent, the neon, I call them fluorescent, the neon colors like the pink. I got all the colors. All the things. <laughs> As one would say. So, I got the blue. These are so pretty. And it, I can't read the colors. I, I can just tell you that they're cotton. 85 cotton and the rest is silk. And it's a number four. It says you can wash and dry. No, lay flat. It's got the dryer on there, but it also has the flat. So I'm not sure. But it's 185 yards each hank. But isn't that pretty? And I got purple. You got two different shades of purple. Got that purple. And this purple. So I'm gonna bag these babies up. And then they only had one white. They had a white one and an off white. And I got the off white. I wish I would have got the white one. Now that you guys know, I bought a bunch of that white cotton from Terry's Yarn Shop. So I know I'm not the only channel you watch. <laughs> So, I don't expect you guys to remember everything I show. I gotta clean this. I've made a mess. And I've only been here not even, tw well, 24 hours. <laughs> and I've made a hot mess of this place. Oh. 
But yeah, I want to bag this up. I don't want to stick it in the containers that I have the others in. I want them to be in the bag. I'm gonna stick them all in one bag because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. This bag's too big. <laughs> I know this noise is so annoying to some people. I so sorry. Let's try it this way. I'll we'll bag them up this way. I would stick more in there, but it all won't fit in there. So I'm gonna make it two bags. There we go. Somebody's barking. Beautiful. I got a bunch to bag up for my trip. But it's better to do it now, you know? Stay on top of it. Because you guys, I got a year of bagging. Probably more. It'll probably never end. And you guys enjoy it, so... order this stuff online. It's organic tangus Peruvian cotton blended with the finest silk. Marisol. Hang on. Sonny's barking at the door. Hey everyone. I hope you enjoyed part of that bagging. I'm going to make this video a part two because it's like an hour and 30 minutes long, so I'm going to make part one and part two of Tuesday night's video. And um, I apologize, but I think that would be the smart thing to do. I, I might have problems uploading it. So, anyway, so I love you guys for hanging in there with me and um, go over to the next video and watch part two. All right, guys, I love y'all.